Hello folks and welcome to North South Life. Now some people may recognise me as Steve OJ3026 or as Prisma Guy or just as Steve and Steve Steve or but I just thought last night whilst I couldn't sleep I thought why not do you know people ask me from my videos that I did on Facebook before um, which I might link which I might actually upload to this channel if you know, if people would like me to. Um, but basically this blog, well, this vlog, I should say, is just going to be about maybe my life and the move from up north to down here into Essex. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about weight issues as well, which, because, you know, obviously you can see I'm not a skinny bloke. I'm not 12 stone or anything. In fact, if anything, I'm probably double that. In fact, I weighed myself about two weeks ago. And I'm not bothered, I'll share this with you. I was 20 stone 11 pound. 20 stone 11 pound. Now I know some of you are going, oh my God, that's massive, you know. At the end of the day, yeah, it is, it is big. And I do get worried about my health. But I am trying to change that. I am trying to lose the weight. You know, I've cut out the crisps and the chocolate. You know, I might have the odd day where I think, oh, I'll treat myself and I have a little bite or something. That's fine. But you just don't go overboard like I used to. I'll be openly honest with you. My diet might before used to contain maybe 6 to 14 bags of crisps a day. And maybe 4 or 5 chocolate bars a day. That's a day. Um, sometimes even more and cake as well and whatever. But going back a few months I just decided you know. I'm a strong person. I lost my nan and granddad last year. My nan has been gone just over a year. My granddad's been gone 11 months. At the end of this month, he'll have been passed away for a year. So, like, towards the end of the month, it is going to be hard for me. But, you know, people get insecure about the weight and, and everything, you know, and the personality and whatever. It's like me, I do, I do. You won't see me, or I won't blog, like blog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. I won't do it in anything else but a shirt and trousers, shirt and black trousers. Because that's how I feel comfortable. I can wear, like in the house, if I'm just like lazing around, I'll wear t-shirt and shorts maybe. But if I'm going out where I know people are going to see me, or I'm going to do this then you will never see me in anything but this. I'm confident with who I am. And yeah, okay, I am, you know, I am trying to lose the weight. You know, I mean, I'll prove it. I'm not exactly the skinniest block, and I'm going to prove it to you now. And I know this might take guts for some people, but, you know, I ain't bothered. Look, I'm fat. So I'll deal with it. You know, I'm fat, look. I've got a belly. You know, I've got a fat ass. And I've got fat arms. You know, they're not exactly skinny either. They're not flabby. But at the end of the day, I am who I am. Do looks really matter in life. Do looks really matter. In a relationship, looks play a part. Don't get me wrong. Looks do play a tiny part. You know, because obviously there's got to be some physical and sexual attraction there for the relationship to actually work. But... In other respects, looks aren't that important. It's the personality. It is the personality. It's what it is. What is within you? You know, look. Um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's true. That is true. Because if you are, if you are with a person and you love them, you love them for their personality. You know, their age, size, whatever, you know, the distance, whatever. You love them for who they are, not because of the distance or their weight or their age or their height or whatever. You know, you love them eternally. And, you know, I'm going to be honest. Obviously, I've had a relationship in the past, only one. Um, and that was the whole reason for me moving down south. Um, well, that and I got a job down here. 
I worked in Asda for some of you who don't know. Um, but basically it didn't work out. You know, I'm not going to go into any of the reasons why it didn't work out. You know, it was partly my fault, you know, and I'll openly put my hands up and admit that. You know, there's, you know, it takes two to tango, doesn't it? But at the end of the day, even after everything that went on with my ex and whatever, I don't hate her or anything. In fact, if she ever sees this, I'd like to thank her. Because if it wasn't for you, yeah, if it wasn't for you, Lauren... I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be down here in Harlow. I wouldn't have met half the amazing people that I have done. I wouldn't be doing this vlog now because I'd still be up north. You know, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you. You know, and we did have some wonderful times. We had some bad times at the same time. But at the end of the day, didn't work out. Just got to chin up and move on. And obviously, anybody who does know me on Facebook and whatever... Um, you may know I am a soft sod and I have been on dates recently, but sadly she didn't feel the same way as I did. So that hurt and I did shut myself away in my room for maybe a week or two. Now, that's not the best thing to do. That's not the best thing to do. No matter what issues you've got, don't shut yourself away because it just makes you worse. I know. I was sat in my room for about six days. I only came out of my room when I needed a drink or the toilet. That's it. Didn't go to town. Nothing. That's no way to live your life. And it's just the same. Like, if you've got weight issues, if you've, you know, you're self-conscious or whatever, don't shut yourself away. Because the more you do that, the more self-conscious you are going to get. Where if you just go out, Go outside, go for a walk, even go to town. You might feel paranoid and think, oh my God, people are looking at me, people are looking at me. I'm not going to deny that they aren't, because chances are they are. But you can be proud of who you are and what you are in this life, then you've got nothing to worry about. You've got absolutely nothing to worry about. I am who I am. I'm Stephen James Peter Johns, 23. I used to live in Hartlepool. I'm adopted. I now live in Harlow, Essex. I'm not an Essex boy, though. And I'm not a Geordie either for anybody who says I'm a monkey hanger or a smoggy. Let's get that straight right away. But just be proud of who you are. You know, no matter whether you're 12 stone or whether you're 20 stone. Yeah, that didn't work, did it? No matter whether you're 12 stone or 22 stone, it doesn't really matter, does it? You're still a person. You're still human. Underneath all this... Underneath all the trimmings, underneath all my fat, I've just got exactly the same organs as the next man. And same for you women, underneath, you've all got exactly the same underneath as the next woman. It's just the trimmings that are different. It's just your eyes, your nose, your lips, your boobs, your bum, whatever. All that is just superficial and different. Underneath, we are all the same. We all have a personality. We all have a heart. You know, we all have kidneys, lungs, whatever. We all have a brain. So, come on. Do we really need all the bullying and the hate in the world? Do we really? No. It's like people who believe in religion and stuff and whatever. At the end of the day, okay, you've got Christians, you've got Catholics, you've got Islam, you've got Hindu, you know, you've got lots of different religions in the world. And at the end of the day, you can say, oh, well, I don't like Catholics, I don't like Muslims, I don't like this, I don't like that. Why? At the end of the day, okay, they all have different faiths to us and different beliefs and whatever. But, at the end of the day, aren't, every, aren't all religions the same? Don't, like, all religion believe in one God or whatever, you know, one proper, um, how can I put it? Like just one special person or animal or whatever. One special figure, shall we say. So, as Mrs Brown's boy said, who cares who the driver is? We're all on the same bus. Who cares who the driver is? True. True. By the way, I'm a Mrs Brown's boy's fan. But, I know, I've realised I've rambled on a little bit now. But I would like to thank some people for constantly being there for me. 
I'd like to thank my brother, Peter Kiggins. You're a f***ing legend, son. You know, I really appreciate that you've always been there for me. And when I'm down, you even make me laugh. You know, you might be a Geordie, but you still make me laugh. You know, I'd like to thank Kelly Thornton, who I met last... No, year before last. You know, she's been absolutely wonderful for me. We might not talk all the time, but she's always there. If I ever need her, she's always there. Same for a lot of people on my Facebook page. A lot of people. You know, if I'm feeling down, you're there for me. You know, Scott Evo Everington, you're there for me. And I really appreciate it, mate. Kirsty Fletcher, you know, I really appreciate you. Um, Who else can I say? You know, just basically everybody on Facebook and everybody who knows me. I would really like to thank you for just being there for me. Because without you, I might not be. Without you, I might be depressed. Or I might have gone back home. Or I might have just ran away. And I won't deny at times I've thought about running away. Because of weight issues and whatever. Why? Why? That's just the coward's way out. You don't take the coward's way out in life. Don't. It takes more of a person to give a compliment and a smile than it does to be nasty. Doesn't it? We all know that. It's like with your facial expressions. A smile takes less muscles than, you know, doesn't it? So if you see somebody and you think, oh God, they're, you know, they're not exactly pretty or whatever, fine. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to be nasty. Or if you see me and you think, you know, he's handsome or whatever, a smile or whatever, you know, a compliment. A compliment goes a long, long way in this life. A long, long way. You know, it's like, I'm not used to compliments. I'm more used to abuse. Oh, you fat this, you fat that, you fat beep, 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 beep. Whatever. Okay, so what? I'm big. More to love, innit? More cushion for the pushing. <laughs> as they say but you know just at the end of the day we're all human you don't have to be nasty to people same for animals by the way i'd like to mention this same for animals you know anybody who i see mentioning animal cruelty or posting videos and stuff on facebook of animal cruelty, you'll be instantly deleted i have a dog myself whom you might see next time or in a couple of months when i go up north and I'll do a vlog again, because we'll get to meet the Molster, because she is a legend. I love my dog. Love you, Molly. I know you won't say this, but I don't care. Love you, Molly. You know, obviously, I love my family as well. You know, I've got my little gorgeous nephew, Luke. Uh, I'm going to be an uncle again any day soon. So, you know, good luck, Sarah, if you see this. Um, You know, just at the end of the day, we're all living. You know, you're born. You live. Sadly, we die. At the end of the day, make the most of it. You only live once. I'm not going to give a you only live once speech because I know it annoys some people, but it's true. You only live once. So live your life as you please. But come on, we don't need all the nastiness and all the horrible comments, do we? And I know I might get slated for this, but I don't care. I'm me, Anna. I'm Steve OJ. Or Stephen Johns. Or if you want to call me, north-south. I am whatever you want to call me. But I'm me. And I'm real. That's the thing. Be real. Be true to yourself. Don't try and please other people. Do not change for other people. Just be true to who you are. I'm a northerner. I ain't going to deny that. I'm proud of being a northerner. You know, where I'm from, bloody Hartlepool... In whatever year, I can't remember, but the th saw a monkey on the beach, thought it was a French spy and hung it. You know, that's my heritage. That's part of who I am. So just be proud of who you are, no matter where you come from, in the UK, in France, or, you know, in the world. Just be proud of who you are. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. If you would like me to do more, then please like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Share the video as well, so, you know, to get the word out there. But please, 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 just be true to yourself. Don't be horrible to others. Because you wouldn't like it if they were horrible to you, would you? So, love everybody who watches this. And everybody who doesn't. You know? So, yeah. This is Steve OJ. North South Life. Prisma Guy. Stephen James Peter Johns. Signing out. 
Love you guys. See you again maybe next week, depending on how often I decide to do this vlog.